Good evening. This is Brian Shannon once again. Today is uh, Thursday, June 22nd, 2006, and I've got the Qs on here again. QQQQ, NASDAQ 100 Trust. And just to reiterate the fact that this market continues to find resistance near the 38.5, 38.70 level, and it looks like perhaps we're going to maybe get another test of those lows. If we uh, look at the shorter term time frame here, looking at an hourly, I think that getting below $38 a share on those queues, and if it's partic in particular, if it stays below there for a little bit, you know, maybe a half hour or so, um, then I think that it's a good chance that we're going to come back down towards 37 and a half or so. So the bottom line about this market is it continues to be very high risk. There's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of this back and forth action where it's up one day real nice and then down the next two days or down the next day and just real choppy back and forth action. Um, I don't really necessarily view it as very constructive. I think it's more... Um, you know, it's more damaging to the psychology of the market when you have this nice rally and the bulls think they're in control and the next day they just, you know, get completely hammered. So we'll be able, we'll continue to be very defensive uh, in our approach to this market and we'll continue to look at longs and shorts. So let's start off with the longs and we'll start out with uh, EGOV. Eddie George Oscar Victor, and here we've been mentioning this stock the last couple days. Getting above $7.35 is where we want to be a purchaser of this stock. And depending on where the stock is, uh, you know, once it runs up to there, hopefully it can make a higher low from here, and then we would set our stop under that level. But, it, you know, daily chart looks real nice. Weekly says it's still got some room. So continue to look at EGOV. Next up is Linux, symbol L-N-U-X. And I think you could buy Linux right, you know, in this area, really. And this is, you know, the stock closed at, I guess, uh, 405 If you could click, let's try and buy it at about $4 a share tomorrow. And I think if you could do that, set your stop under this five-day moving average at about 393 I think looking at the daily time frame, the stock could make a run for the 50-day moving average. And that's up near about $4.60 or so. So Linux acts pretty strong in here and we'll uh, we'll try to buy that towards four dollars a share with a stop at about 393 and risk about seven cents and look for it to p potentially test this five, uh, 50 day moving average up near 460 so nice risk reward MDTL Metis Technology Mary David Tom Larry this stock has been in a very bad downtrend what I don't what you don't see on here is it's flirting with its 200 day moving average which is still rising and what we saw in here was we saw this lower low. And when we look at the hourly time frame, I didn't mention this one the other day, but we had another MACD divergence in here. And that divergence is indicating that perhaps it's trying to make a turn. So when we look at a 10-minute time frame, you can see it is above this five-day moving average, which is starting to flatten out. Now what I think we need to see happen with MDTL is to get above the high of yesterday and today, Wednesdays and Thursdays highs, which is $20.20. So if we can get above $20.20, right now I think your stop goes under here. This is 1955 Ideally, what would I like to see? I'd like to see it run up to there, pull back to about $19.85 or so, then make a, a, a break through that level so we could raise our stop up by about $0.20 cents or so. But right now, it looks like the most logical place for a stop is at about $19.55 or so. Hopefully, we can see that, uh, you know, we can get a chance to, to raise that a little bit. I am long a little bit of this. I own it from two days ago. I've got a, a good purchase price in it. So uh, it's just small shares, but I bought them down in this area as, after it pulled back. So uh, I'm continuing to hold just a small amount of that. But I'm going to add to the stock if it can get above, get back above this $20.20 level. That's my plan for MDTL. Um, VSE, this is the Verisun, the recent IPO in the ethanol business. And it, it came down and it's been building a, a pretty tight little range in here. So this is about 26 and a half, and I don't know why my uh, trend tool went like that. But anyways, about 26 and a half. I think getting above that 26 and a half level could be very bullish for this stock. So continue to keep your eyes on this. If we can get above 26 and a half, I think you want to set your stop below this low of 2570, uh, 2564 rather. So again, hopefully, what do we want to see this stock do? We want to see it run up to that 
level of resistance and let's just kind of redraw this out let's say starting from here this is where the stock is and let's say it does this now we want to see it make a higher low so and then break out that's where we want to purchase it instead of stop under here rather than this low which might be represented by this little line I just drew in so VSE continue to keep an eye on uh, in particular if the other ethanol stocks are, are trending and it looks like those might have another day or two of, of strength a n d e m g p i p e i x or a couple of the other ones let's take a look at some shorts now electronic arts symbol e r t s all the big cap techs are getting hit hard they murdered qualcomm today and that was just a, a real nice drop uh, a reader pointed that out but here we can see on uh, on arts that you know this is a multi-year low that it's that it's been hanging around near it gapped down traded lower it's unable to rally it just keeps making these slightly lower highs and keeps coming away and hitting down on support near $41 a share now the the, the problem with this stock, well here let, let's take a look at this weekly time frame on ERTS first ERTS looks like it could qu quickly come down I think towards that 34 35 level and looking at a 10 minute time frame perhaps you want to sell it short below today's low and then set your stop up near about 41 and a quarter so today's low looks like about 4077 so maybe there's about 50 cents of risk and I think that it could really get smashed pretty good in here another way to potentially play this is with some puts uh, maybe the 40 strike that's that's what I'm considering doing in here I'm not really sure yet but if you want to short the stock outright I think you short it below today's low with a stop just up above here so next one we're going to look at is uh, GILD, Gilead uh, Sciences, GILD. Here we can see on first, let's look at the weekly time frame. It's been struggling with this 200-day moving average. It broke this big uptrend right in here and struggling with that. And here on the daily time frame, clearly it's starting to make these lower highs and the lower lows. Now on an hourly time frame, we look in here, we see that low, and, and we can see that, you know, that, these people got trapped pretty good in here. It looked like it, it fell down through support, looked like it recovered, but now clearly the sellers are in control. So I think on this stock as well uh, as Ertz that we want to sell this stock short below today's low. Today's low was 54.76 and I think our stop can go just above this high here at about 55.35. So another low risk uh, opportunity in there. And if you look at the biotech holders, the BBH, you can see that this group looks terrible. So uh, this is BBH, the biotech holders. Looks like they could get smacked pretty good. And certainly that's going to help a stock like Gilead. WFMI, we've been mentioning this one in the last couple days, Whole Food Market. If you look at that weekly time frame, it just looks like a real nice big top. And looking down at a 10-minute time frame, the buyers regained control. We were initially, you know, bearish on it over here. The buyers regained control a little bit. I think that's that was a fake out there, and that's going to frustrate these buyers. It's kind of holding out a little bit of a slight uptrend line in here over the last couple of days. We can see that more a little bit more clearly on the five-minute time frame. Here's another one I think we want to sell short below today's low. Uh, so below 61.80. I think your stop would then go up above this high right here at about 62.28. So, you know, that gives us about 50 cents risk for a, a $60 stock. That's pretty low risk, and the potential drop here could be very good. It, you know, again, la you know, when the market first started dropping, the big leaders were getting hit, stocks like you know Qualcomm and here we see Qualcomm continue to get murdered I don't think that's a good sign for the market uh, last stock we'll look at here on the short side is Chesapeake Energy symbol CHK looks like a nice big top up here on the daily time frame it's consolidating making this lower high in here maybe and then we look at a 10 minute time frame you could short it around here with a stop up above this level, which is about 29 and a half, 29.46 actually. Or you could go below today's low and then set your stop just above here. Either way, though, it looks like CHK is due for a pretty nice drop. I'm going to try and keep this one short, so hopefully I can get it onto uh, YouTube in case there's problems with Google. They, they did admit they're having problems with their servers. Um, anyway, again, my name is Brian Shannon. Thanks for checking out my blog here at Alpha Trends. And uh, best of luck trading tomorrow. Keep your stops tight and be quick to take uh, profits when you get something that moves quickly. Thanks for, thanks for your time.